All right, welcome back. Short video today. What are ID3 tags? Jumping right into it. And ID3 tags are something that we implement into all of our podcast episodes, uh, basically so you can have relevant information about that MP3 file in the MP3 file. Um, so for better explanation, why don't we ask our friend Google? All right, now our buddy Google tells us we should go to ID3.org. And it explains what ID3 tags are. So ID3 tags provide the title, artist, year, genre, and other great information when you're listening to music, or in our case, podcasts. Here you will find the current standards, documents, pointers to software libraries in just about every language and other information you can use to enhance your MP3 audio library. So ID3 tags are the audio file standard for MP3 files in active use by software and hardware developers around the world. An ID3 tag is a data container within an MP3 audio file stored in a prescribed format. This data commonly contains the artist's name, song title, year, genre, and current of the current audio file. This website contains format standards of, God, this is so boring. You you get you get the picture. Now let's look at what an I, ugh, now let's look at what an ID3 tag looks like in Logic. Now I work primarily with Logic. Um, I'm sure you can find other places with other DAWs where you can find out how you embed ID3 tags, but I'm just going to show you how I do it on Logic. So we're on Logic. I've got my podcast episode here, and now I want to export it because it's completely done and it looks amazing. We'll hit bounce. We'll select MP3, and then here you'll say, yeah, I want to write ID3 tags. And then you'll go to the ID3 settings. And here you can see we have the song title, or in our case, the episode title, the artist, which is me, the album, movie, show, or podcast, the track number. I don't usually put a track number here. And because this is an ongoing podcast, there's not a definite number of episodes that there are going to be. I leave that blank. Uh, composer, I put that in there. Lyricist, band, orchestra, conductor, uh, interpreted or remit. I don't know what that means. Uh, beats per minute, your comment, genre, publisher and labels, straight up podcast, copyright 2020, and then the URL to the website. Now you can use as many or as little of these as possible, but I just put in relevant information that was relevant to either the podcast, the business, which is straight up podcasts, myself, or the specific podcast episode. So those are all ready to go. And then you'll bounce out the episode and you're done. So that is just a really quick intro as to what ID3 tags are. Basically, you want to have them in there. So the relevant information about your audio file is within the audio file. So uh, it's a small step, but a necessary one when you want to put out a professional podcast. So there you go. Thanks for tuning in. If you want to subscribe, go ahead. If not, you're not going to hurt my feelings. Uh, if you are looking for a better post-production solution than editing your podcast yourself or trying to learn how to edit it yourself, you can check out www.straightuppodcasts.com. You can also check out our podcast, PodLogic, which comes out twice a week. And we also have a newsletter that comes out every Monday. And finally, there's a Patreon where you can help support all of this stuff. Uh, all the content is already free. So I'm kind of shooting myself in the foot by not providing extra content, but it's just for folks who feel they get enough out of all this stuff that they want to contribute a little bit. It's like a dollar a month or five bucks a month if you want if you know if you want to contribute to that that would be fun <laughs> um, uh, but again all that will go towards the continuation of videos like this as well as the podcast and the newsletter thanks